Howdy diddly dandy there chums, as I, Captain Stephen X. So in today's episode chums, I am going to show you how to install some launch thrusters in your ship that makes it so you don't need to use launch thruster fuel all that often. You're going to still need it, but it's going to be a lot rarer and you're not going to need it as often. Okay, so at the moment I only have these launch thrusters actually installed. Now, if I go and dig up myself some uh, salvage data from planet Surfiasis and take them up to the Nexus, I should be able to get blueprints for better launch thrusters. So let's head on down to a planet and let's dig up some salvage data pretty much any planet. If you scan with your analysis Vazia, you should find very technology. And if you just sort of highlight it like that, it makes it a heck of a lot easier to track and find where this buried technology is. So let's fly on over, let's get there and dig this stuff up using our terrain manipulator. You should have a terrain manipulator, um, you know, if you've taken off from the planet that is, so you do get it very early in play. If you haven't got the terrain manipulator, then you probably haven't fixed your ship. And you might want to focus on doing that before you start digging up stuff. But you can still dig this stuff up on planet if you've got your terrain manipulator, that is. Right, so let's head on down. And there you go. That's the technology module that I'm looking for. Salvage data. And that's the stuff you need to take up to the Nexus to trade in for the technology. Now, you're going to need quite a lot of these. So be, be um, you know, quite frivolous with your digging. Dig these up. Heck yes. Right, well, I will see you up at the Nexus where I'll show you which vendor you need to go to to unlock the blueprints for the actual launch frosty years. See you in the Nexus. Up in the old Nexus and you've got yourself your salvaged data that you've dug up from the planet's surfaces. If you go and speak to this chap here, Hyperion. So if you speak to him, he's got like a holographic ship next to him. He sells ship technologies. So if you go into research ship upgrades, what you want to do is get this one here if it isn't already unlocked. Followed by that one there. And you can see there it needs two magnetic resonators which is the hardest ingredients here so you can get blueprints to find manufacturing facilities and then you can get blueprints in there if you've got factory override units and i believe it only costs one to unlock okay so yeah um so you need blueprints for the magnetic resonator but hopefully if you've got that and that you should be fine and if you've already took, taken off with your ship and done a little bit of the storyline, you should have the ability to craft antimatter wiring looms you can buy at the station. Now, this first step is very easy. You can see that I've got all the components to do that already. I may struggle with this one, but we shall give it a go. Righto. So I don't think I've got the blueprint for the um, magnetic resonator or whatever that thing was. So, yeah, I need to go and find myself some manufacturing facilities. So I'll show you how to do that. I'll see you in a mo. Over at a station. Heck yes. OK, chums, well, I'm up inside of a station. Now, in the station, there's two galactic trade terminals. There's one in the side door next to where you can find the multi-tool cabinet, and there's one over at the other side by the missions agent. But just check the galactic trade terminals in the station. You can see there that that one's got the solar mirror, but there's a good chance it may have the magnetic resonator that we're going to need to craft those landing gear, well, the launch thruster gear, at the S-class level. So as you're going around here, also pick up all the uh, bright cubes or the flat disks that give navigation data because we're going to need those to go to manufacturing facilities to raid them to see if we can get the blueprint for the magnetic resonator so here we go we're going to get a load of navigational data while we're up here now if you don't get a lot of navigational data if you go over to your portal terminus you could just jump to another station that you've already been to hopefully you would have warped a few times and gone to a few stations and hopefully you can grab all the navigational data and trade those for maps with the cartographer so I'm just having a look at my old craft menu at the moment I haven't got the blueprint as you can see there for the magnetic resonator so I will have to go and raid some factory units if I don't find them in the galactic trade terminals up here but here we go let's um, raid a couple more of these there's one of the flat disks and they also give navigational data sometimes I got nanites off of that one though but there we go when you hover over things sometimes it says whether you're going to get nanites or navigational data but it normally it, you see navigational data I hit it up I got nanites it's a bit broken 
but right now I don't have the actual um, blueprint at all to actually craft out the magnetic resonators. And if I don't have any joy up here with the Galactic Trade Terminals, then I, I may have to go and find the manufacturing facilities manually, so the more navigational data I can grab, the better at this point, chums. So yeah, let's head on over, and like I say, you can use the portal terminus. So let's just trade in what I've got to the cartographer. I think I've got about six now, so I'm just going to buy six of these. So here we go. So exchange for maps, and I'm going for this top one here. The one with the green icon on it. So here we go. I'm going to buy six of those. I'm just going to buy them one at a time until it stops allowing me to buy them. And then the best thing to do is you can actually do these from space, from inside of your spaceship. But I would suggest landing on a planet first that isn't an extreme weather planet and then using the maps on there. Otherwise, you might go to a planet where you know, you're going to be up against the extreme weather and the sentinels. Stumble across a building that seems to have sentinels patrolling it, then it's probably going to be a manufacturing facility or a secure facility of some kind that may contain blueprints of interest. So yeah, also something to note, if you go to the flag outside first, you can make a save just in case you fluff up, but also you get a free navigational data. Every single time you hit one of these save points, you're going to get a navigational data that you can trade for maps to find more facilities, to find more blueprints. Okay, so here we go. Let's um, see if I can knock my way into here. Animus, and oh, let's try the animus beam on the door. Let's see how much damage that does. Okay, that does budge in nothing. Okay, right, well, let's use Boltcaster then. Let's just uh, get in slowly and surely. I'm going to get shot by Sentinels doing this. Um, yeah, hello there, Sentinel. Yeah, I'm just going to... I'm just blowing up the door. Let me in. Okay, right, so we're heading in. And yet, sometimes you've got to solve a puzzle. And if I get the puzzle wrong, I can just reload my save. So here we go. Right, okay, yeah, alarms, blah, blah, blah. Right, well, I don't know much about that. So, yeah, common... Hopefully it's just a common part. Okay, so insert carbon. That's quite com common. Let's give that a go. Let's see what happens. Kapow! There's a pause, a rumble, blah, blah, blah. Okay, that didn't work. So I'm going to reload my save. So here we go. Options and a reload manual save. Right, well, I've reloaded my manual save. So it's a case of just trying again now. So here we go. Let's say get my bolt caster and let's just blow the doors up. Okay, and we're going to head back in and we're going to try the same puzzle again. It's the same puzzle. So you can just try and try and try. You should just reload. It doesn't matter that you don't really know the lingo. I mean, it does help. I mean, because then you can do it on your first go. But here we go. Let's try and try this again. Okay, so we've done the insert carbon. So this time we're going to do something completely different. So I'm going to do continue experiment. It's always the third one. Isn't it? <laughs> it's going to be the other one, isn't it? But here we go. Let's see if that worked. No, that didn't work. Okay, so reload save. And I'm heading on in, and here we go, let's try the final option. Third time lucky. I say lucky, you know, we've, we've gone through all the other options. Here we go. Let's do end experiment A. Chikapow! A few tabs, dilly D. Exactly the same text. Is this going to work? Okay. And right, so here we go. Learn new recipe. Okay, so if I hit learn new recipe, it's going to bring up this list of all the things that I need to learn. Now, I need to learn this. Um... Oh, okay. It costs a factory override unit. So I need to get factory override units before I can actually unlock these. I've actually got two at the moment. So I'm going to go for that. I'm going to unlock that. Thank you very much. Brilliant. Awesome. And I can learn one more thing. What else should I go for? I could go for the Atlas Pass Level 2, which would take me to Level 3. However, there's nothing great behind there, really. So I may learn maybe the solar mirror we go with that okay brilliant so yeah i need to get more factory override units there we go and we got given a factory override unit for overriding this factory which is pretty damn freaking sweet awesome right chums well if you are running low on navigational data what you can do is if you build some barrels on side of your freighter Every time you run up and down these stairs, they will renew. And you can search these. There you go. Got navigational data. And um, yeah, the more barrels you've got, the more chance you've got of getting stuff. And I've got condensed carbon there, which is great for making the antimatter as well. So antimatter is pretty easy to craft. There you go. I've got five of those already crafted up. But yeah, awesome. Now, the actual magnetic resonators. Sometimes, if you go to a trade terminal and then you go into the buy menu, 
hopefully you might find one there. There's a magnetic resonator, so I can just purchase them here. So you don't need the blueprint always. You can find these in minor settlements or inside trading posts. Um, but yeah, you can also find them on your freighter if you're really severely lucky. I mean, if you don't see it in one system, just pull your freighter into another system and then recheck the galactic trade terminal on your freighter and it will stock something different depending on the actual economy and the actual web. Yeah, so let's have a look at the discovery screen. I'll tell you what this system is. If I go over to discoveries, this system that I'm in right now, you can see there it's got high tech and comfortable. So you might want to bring your freighter into a high tech area of space and then check your Galactic Trade Terminal to see if it's got them. Sometimes it might have them, sometimes it might have the mirror or something else. It might not always have them. It might have the quantum computer instead or it might have the um, solar mirror thing. So yeah, it's, it's sheer chance. But just luck would have it. I found some and I bought some. Heck yes, I did. So I should now be able to craft everything I need inside of my ship. So here's my ship right here. So if I go over to there, install a Mondo. So if I hover over the first set of launch thrusters, you're going to see there launch cost is minus 20%. Lovely. All right. Well, let's stick those in. Chicka pow, chicka boom. Yeah, done. All right. I'm just going to move the hyperdrive out the way and I'm going to put the other ones just here. So this is the S class one, but let's read what it says about the S class one. Automatic recharging enabled under status there. So their photovic panels are fitted to the Starship's launch thrusters allow for a slow trickle charge while the ship is non-operational. Harvested light is used to fuse the dehydrogen from the atmosphere and over time will refuel the ship launch thrusters automatically. So it's not going to do it straight away for you. The, the longer you spend on a planet exploring, the, the uh, better the charging of your launch thrusters is going to be. So yeah, it's, it's good to have and it's going to save you a lot of launch thruster fuel. So there we go. Awesome. That's that little ship kitted out. And yeah, I'm not going to need as much launch thruster fuel anymore, chum. So that's the full guide on how to get your launch thrusters fully upgraded. Now that same guide applies to a lot of the tech that you're going to be installing in your ship. You're going to need to go to the manufacturing facilities and get the blueprints. Or you can be super lucky and you can buy some of the stuff that you need inside of the Galactic Trade Terminal. But that's my full-on guide on how to get your ship's launch thrusters fully upgraded there you go people so there you are and um, i'll see you guys next time goodbye goodbye and goodbye again i want to say a massive great big thank you for watching if you like what you see please like and subscribe and hit that notification bell and thank you to my backers over on patreon and on youtube membership if you do want to support this channel you could just not skip my adverts that throws revenue down my avenue or stay with captain steve a little bit longer and hit something on this screen Heck yes, there's also merch on the screen now. Awesome!